G'day folks. Just wanted to do a bit of a clip to announce a bit of a giveaway. Um, it's basically a, a way to thank all you guys out there in social media land, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Um, thank you very much for you know following along our little journey, as slack as it's been over the last summer. Hopefully we'll get better this coming growing season, winter for us. Um, it's a way of thanking you guys for sticking with us, uh, the friendships we've made, um, new people we've met. Um, we've had quite a few people come through the backyard now, just to have a bit of a gander at what we've got growing on here. Also too, a very quick thank you, can't believe I didn't do it before, to all the channels that I subscribe to. Um, loads of you guys out there that have helped me, um, you know, entertained me, taught me tips and tricks. Thank you very much to you guys as well. Um, I can't believe I left you guys out. I really do appreciate it. So what I'd like to do is offer you some seeds. Uh, basically what happened is I posted a picture through Instagram to Facebook of some black snake bean seeds I'd harvested. Within five minutes I had two people PM me and a couple of people asked below it um, if they could have some seeds. So I thought well stuff it, let's do a giveaway hey. Um, so what I want to do is give away ten lots of snake bean seeds, ten lots of the broad ripple yellow currant seeds, you're not going to get masses of seeds guys, only a couple, and um, carrot seeds, you'll get a load of them from Kira's plant out the front. So they've all things we've grown here in the patch. Um, snake beans and the broad ripple yellow currants are tried and true by us, absolutely fantastic fantastic. Um, the carrots are a bit of a novelty so if they don't grow too well uh, probably only because only one carrot went to flower, a bit of inbreeding depression, um, not enough genetic diversity to grow an awesome carrot but you know have a crack at it. I'm having a go in the aquaponics and in a barrel so we'll see how they turn out. A bit of a novelty like I said. So anyway uh, 10 packs of seeds, 5 for Australians and 5 for everyone else in the world so if you want to increase your odds move to Australia. Um, basically is a bit of a thank you and yeah give you guys a crack at growing some. Um, there's only one condition of me sending these seeds out and that is if you do grow them um, you need to save seeds from them and pass them on to at least five other people. Depending on your area and how many people you know that actually grow their own food um, that might be a bit hard but you know I really would appreciate it if you you know share the seed, share the love, um, spread it around as far as you can. Um, so that's pretty much all what I would like to do. Now for you guys to participate in this what you need to do is send me an email with snake beans in the title to bitsoutthebackcomp at gmail.com. It's all down there in the description what you need to do anyway. Um, all I need is your name and your country of origin or where you're living now actually is be even better um, just so I can put you in the relevant draw. Uh, the draw will take place next Friday night I think. Um, I forget what date it is so have a look on the screen here somewhere it'll be up there. Um, and then the winners will be notified. Um, I don't know if I'll do a clip but I will do an announcement on Facebook so there you go. Also too you don't have to subscribe to us on YouTube to be in the draw or follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, this isn't a subscriber drive, I mean you guys can sub if you want if you like what we do here. Uh, there'll be playlists at the end if you want to suss them out. Um, but yeah it's, it's just basically a thank you to you all. So anyway Enough of that. Um, we'll get on to a bit of a walk around the backyard here and I just want to show you what's going on, give you a bit of a bonus so it's not just a, a you know a giveaway clip sort of thing. So we'll start at the snake beans here. Now these are the snake beans that we have on offer. What we've got over there is some um, hammered snake beans. Just the grasshoppers this season have been relentless yet again. Um, they're just smashing all the greenery and all the leaves on these things. Uh, we've got a couple um, just let to dry out here. This one wasn't dry enough the other day, still had a bit of a green stripe up the center so I'd let him just mature a bit. He sounds pretty dry now. Um, we've got some more down here that I decided to let go to seed because I'm gonna apparently be giving a bit away so we're just leaving them on to dry out. Over here we've got a couple that will be coming off for a um, salad tonight to go with our veggie frittata so but as you can see I mean a spectacular looking leaves. I was hoping some flowers were going to be out but it looks like I've missed them this morning and yeah it just it's grown up here through the veggie netting so it's a very very vigorous growing plant. Grows really well here in the subtropics. Um, temperate zones you'd probably need to get it in uh, around about spring, early spring as soon as the ground starts to warm up um, to have a fair crack at these guys but it is doable. I've heard of people growing them down in Melbourne and um, Adelaide. Uh, they're the southern colder states here in Australia. In the rest of this bed what we have is some tomatoes and herbs I planted out. Um, I've already done a clip on these tomatoes actually, um, just basically showing you how um, we separate the plants when they're um, planted close together. These guys are dwarf tomatoes and I only had very few seeds so I didn't want to waste any of the plants. Actually, I actually had to pull one out in the centre, he was just devastated with mites. None of the rest were funnily enough. Um, and in the clip too I've also just done a bit of a comparison between soil and aquaponics.
kind of growth rates, not nutrition, just growth rates of plants. So um, keep an eye out for that clip if you're interested. Uh, or basil down the side here, a couple of lots of thyme, and right up the back I have some flat leaf parsley. And the rest of the plants in here are pretty much all just leftovers or self sown. Um, we have some lettuce over there, and we've got some marigolds here. Uh, over in this um, far bed is where the brassicas are going out when it cools down. We'll straighten the camera up. <laughs> when it cools down, either later on today or tomorrow. A little bit warm at the moment. I'd say it's pushing 30. Um, I need to get the um, veggie net down as well because I've seen a couple of white butterflies flitter through the yard lately. So, got to keep them out. Uh, this bed here, actually, I'll show you behind me first. Over here... We have, over here we have the turmeric. Now this turmeric has been awesome. It's flowered, put out about five or six flowers, oh no, seven flowers this season. So loads of flowers in there, very pretty as well when they're in their prime. Um, but yeah, they, they look a bit um, disheveled at the moment. Down here the eggplant, it got absolutely hammered by the 28 spot ladybugs. So what I did was cut it right back. Um, very hardy plant, these long purples, and it's grown back. Just to give you a closer look, you know, fantastic looking fruit on here. Um, we've got one that's nearly ready over there, and I know there is one over the back there that's ready. Down here we have the undumplet. Um, these guys here, very pretty eggplant. Um, I like the purples a lot better. My glasses just fell. I like the purples a lot better, but these guys are great to um, dice up and put in curries and stews and that sort of thing. Um, Chuckens, chuckens think they're getting more grasshoppers. Oh, this here is another self-serve tomato bar for the chickens. It's a broad ripple yellow currant. Just saw some ripe fruit down here they can't get. So what we do is just let these tomatoes grow up the um, fence line here. And these um, chooks can basically have... Yeah, where are we chickens? Whoops, got that one. Whoops. They can basically have tomatoes on call whenever they want them. Uh, worked for us a couple of years ago, so we're trying to train this one to go up this side now. Back in the hoop house, we've got the turmeric there. It's doing well. Um, this comfrey here, I'm doing a bit of an experiment. Um, I'm basically chopping it off and trying to feed up um, this one barrel just with the leaves, just as a top mulch, just to see if um, we get a better production out of it. And this bed here had some parsley in it um, and some beetroot up the end, but other than that, it was pretty much all let go farrow fallow over summer uh, with a couple of other beds just you know fed it up with some horse manure let it break down and try and boost up its nutrients again and I'll put in some um, okra I've got some mammoth spineless if the grasshoppers haven't demolished it and it's ready to be planted out in this garden here some sort of um, unknown squash slash pumpkin not too sure and over here some ginger and this ginger has been a bit of a mixed bag this one here this little clump has done really well grown as well as the stuff in the aquaponics we've got a couple of other plants just down uh, the front here under the squash um, or pumpkin that hasn't gone too well so i don't know what the story there is there over the back we have some tomatoes um, these guys are actually growing over the top of that bed and over onto the footpath on the other side so i just had to give them a massive haircut trim them back so here's a bit of a closer look at these little cherries they're really sweet little fruit we've got a couple more ripening up those guys down there will end up in tonight's salad along with some broad ripple yellow currant um, it's just one plant and what i've done is let um, four branches basically live i'm um, giving them a good cut back taking off a lot of the suckers and i've just got it suspended up here with some of the little tomato um clamps that mr earthen group gave us with the aquaponics so thank you very much sir um yeah so really happy with that it's good to have a red cherry tomato after all the yellows for the last couple of years uh over here this amaranth would have to be one of my favorite plants in the patch at the moment mainly because it doesn't care what we try to do to it, it wants to survive. Um, it was sprouted between two pavers there, and as you can see, it's just pushed them out of the way. I mean, this plant wants to live, so I figured I'd let him stay. Uh, we'll collect some of the seed from this guy, but as you can see, he's pretty much well been hammered by the um, grasshoppers like everything else in the patch. Just around the back, this bed here, I was actually chatting to someone earlier, um, thanking them, and they mentioned that they have the broad ripple yellow currants in. And this is a bed that is half broad ripple yellow current, so I'll put a bit of shade over it for you. Um, these are absolutely phenomenal, these plants. They just keep pumping out the fruit. Half the bed, as you can see, there's fruit just down in there. Half the bed are just these cherry tomatoes at the moment. What we don't eat, we're flicking to the chickens, so they're having a ball with them. Um, the other plant, the other greenery in here is either... Um, 
um, warrigal greens or a little weed we feed the chickens. The mother warrigal green plant is the brown stuff over the back and just up the trellis. It's died off, but I noticed the other day I've got a whole heap of seedlings that have sprouted, so we've got the next generation of warrigal greens coming through. This bed really needs to be fed up. A couple of bags of horse manure and some mulch on top and she'll be right. Not too sure if I'll plant it out. I've got one acorn, acorn squash left that the cat, um, grasshoppers haven't eaten, so I might pop him in here. Just behind the lime tree bed here we have the auto top up wicking barrels. This barrel here is still pumping out the beans. Uh, we've got Simba bush beans in here. As you can see the grasshoppers are caning the leaves but these plants are just pumping out the fruit continually. Uh, I took the strawberries out of this first barrel and put them in the aquaponics. The strawberries are doing okay in the second barrel and it's also got a volunteer turmeric as you can see there on the right hand side and a pigeon pea. Over the back we have, um, oh there's bush beans in all those barrels by the way, the three of them. We have the yak on, um, not doing as good as last year's but it did go in a little bit late. Um, so yeah, I'm mighty chuffed with the way these auto top up barrels have gone. Aquaponics is going alright. I did manage to kill um, 10 fish accidentally the other day but um, hopefully they'll be replaced this weekend. So there'll, there'll be no nutrient loss in this system but as you can see everything's pumping along there. Those tomatoes are looking mighty fine. Kang Kong's picked up, so really impressed with the way she's travelling at the moment. These are our two compost cages. Uh, the one on the left is ready to be harvested now, and the one on the right I'm still working on. Um, this cage here, hopefully will be fed up this weekend. Jeez, I've got a big list of things to do. Um, filled up with pigeon pea, mulched up pigeon pea and lucerne hay, or alfalfa hay, um, just to top it up. The um, it's settled down to the um, top bar there, so I need to beef it up again um, because the compost these things are making is phenomenal. I'll just give you a look at some of the compost in here. So this is the compost that we've been making in these cages. A uh, little baby worm there. Um, it's absolutely fantastic stuff. This has been made on um, horse manure, Chinese elm, which is a deciduous tree. I've put some loosened hay in here, um, a few other bits and pieces couple of worms down here. I suppose I really shouldn't disturb them too much but we've got a couple of worms coming through now. Some would be um, basically coming in from the environment around the place and I also did harvest uh, a couple of handfuls from the worm farm under the house and popped them in there and what they're basically doing is um, finishing it off. It's not cooking in the center anymore, it's not hot so they're just coming through and um, eating through the organic matter and the bacteria and whatnot in there. And giving us some awesome compost. I sieved some out the other day and I um, fed it to a um, pawpaw tree that I potted out in the root pouch garden so yeah I'm pretty pleased with that. So that's pretty much all it I think for a bit of a roundup of um, what's going on with the patch and a bit of a oh actually I'll just show you in here these are our carrots. These if you if you're drawn you'll be growing this one sister. These are Kira's carrots so we've got a fairly good germination rate with them um, hopefully they'll grow a half decent carrot so there you go, That's you could be growing one of these. So I just thought I'd show you that. But I suppose that is pretty much well it. So there you go folks, there's a bit of a wander around the patch tacked on the end of a seed giveaway announcement. Um, like I've said before, check in the description below on how to enter. Um, the email account involved is just for competition, so please no personal correspondence there, I won't be answering it. As for subscribing, you do not need to subscribe to enter this competition. Um, you don't need to follow us on Facebook either. I will put some playlists at the end though on um, chickens and chicken feeders, worms, worm farms, compost, compost cages, um, the wicking beds and warm weather um, growing and that sort of thing, um, aquaponics, aquaculture. I'll put those playlists at the end there just so it gives you a bit of an idea of what we do. And if you like it, you know, subscribe if you like it. Um, there's one way to be able to catch up on, um, keep track with new clips as they've come out. If you subscribe, you can get notifications and all that mumbo jumbo. Um, that's enough spruiking. Um, I'll pretty much will leave it there. If you do have any comments, questions or suggestions, feel free to pop them in the comments section below and I'll get back to you after I answer the others. Um, I will get there though. And I hope everyone has an absolutely fantastic week. Um, good luck in the draw and I'll catch you next clip. Cheers folks.